Today, nuclear power is not just another alternative power source to fossil fuels. Nuclear reactors are driven by their ability to transmutate one element or isotope into another. Long before the invention of nuclear transmutation, humans had searched for the Philosopher's Stone which was believed to be capable of turning base metals into gold. This spurred the study of alchemy, which was the precursor to modern scientific study. Alchemy was practiced in ancient Egypt, the Islamic world, East Asia, and medieval Europe until the modern era. This spanned at least 2,500 years. With the use of nuclear transmutation, turning lead into gold is actually a feasible process. And now a word from our sponsor. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Today I have a once-in-a-lifetime investment opportunity for you. As we talked about earlier, it's possible to turn lead into gold inside of a nuclear reactor. Luckily for you, my company doesn't have the money to buy a reactor. Today only, we're offering a one-time chance to invest in our company. With an initial investment of this much money, our reactor will build produce this much gold. Hello everyone. As you can tell by my clothes, I may be someone that works in the medical industry. You may be wondering what nuclear energy has to do with the medical industry. Well, in modern medicine, nuclear energy is used every day. The transmutation of isotopes in nuclear reactors is used in making medical diagnoses and in medical imaging. The most common use for medical isotopes is for medical scans. Isotopes make it possible to create detailed images of specific organs and body systems. These detailed images allow doctors to locate illnesses and pick the best course of treatment for their patients. There are a number of widely used medical isotopes, such as technetium 99 m krypton 81 m iodine-131, and rubidium-82. Technetium-99M is by far the most common, and it is used in 80% of all nuclear medical scans. Like many other medical isotopes, technetium can only be made in abundant quantities by transmutation inside special reactors. In fact, there are only five reactors in the world that produce commercial amounts of this isotope. The capacity of nuclear reactors to transmute materials of one element into a different element has been offered up as one possible solution to the problem of what to do with nuclear waste. Today, there are 104 nuclear reactors operating in the U.S. The spent fuel waste from these reactors largely sits on sites in interim storage, residing either in water-filled cooling pools or in dry caskets stored above or just below the ground. For decades, the U.S. nuclear industry has operated on an incomplete fuel cycle. Following a process of preparation, nuclear fuel is burned in reactors to create power. From there, spent fuel is put in interim storage, where it will stay until a national policy on the disposal of spent fuel is determined. However, what if instead this spent fuel waste could be transmuted into more usable fuel? This transmutation is possible with fast reactors. Spent nuclear fuel typically consists of about 94% uranium-238 and less than 1% plutonium-239. While the plutonium is good for fissioning, the uranium-238 is generally not. But in a fast reactor, fission of the plutonium and spent fuel can lead to the transmutation of the uranium waste into more plutonium. The reactor can essentially create fuel out of what was previously waste. Other than the energy released by transmutation of elements and producing medical isotopes, there are few current uses for transmutation because of the enormous cost associated with the nuclear process. In the future, the U.S. may have the capability to turn spent fuel into reusable fuel. Humans have attempted to achieve transmutation for hundreds of years, hoping to gain wealth by creating gold. While we have finally achieved that goal today, transmutation can be put to more practical purposes of helping to save lives and recycle radioactive waste.